Okay, in this screencast I'm going to show you the basics of using Audacity. Although I'm doing this on a Mac, basically the same principles would apply on any other platform such as Windows or Linux. I'm assuming at this point that you've already downloaded Audacity, so I'm going to go ahead and launch Audacity. And you'll notice when it comes up, sometimes a window comes up, sometimes it doesn't, but we have this menu here. So we're just going to click File and New, and we have our basic functionality here. I don't know all the functionalities, all the ways that you can use Audacity, so I'm just going to show you some basics. The first thing you need to do, though, is go to Preferences. If we go to Audacity and Preferences, and then we want to look at the libraries. By default, Audacity cannot record to MP3 files, so we need to make that happen. So I'm going to click on Download. It's going to open up my browser and send me to this link. We don't want the Windows one, we want the Mac OS X one. So I'm going to go to the page and download the file. All right, you want to make sure that you download the lame library for Audacity for your platform form. So I've looked and I'm going to do the OS 10 one. And it's downloading. Um, once it's downloaded, it'll open up the image file on your desktop. It should be here momentarily. I'm going to click on it and there's this package here. I'm going to run the package. Doesn't take up a lot of space. You'll have to put in your password. It's been installed. Okay. Let's go back to Audacity now. Probably one of the easiest things to do is to quit Audacity and restart it. Notice this time it just popped up here. If we go to Preferences now and we look at MP3, it shows the version that we're using, so we're good to go. So to record, hit the record button. It records your voice and you can see the lines forming the waveform behind you. So we've just recorded this. Press stop when you're done. Now you can play it back. It records your voice and you can see the lines forming the waveform behind you. So we've just recorded this. Press stop. Okay, so that was pretty simple. We just recorded something. Um, so now I'm going to show you how to do an effect. You click on effect and let's do the change pitch. We want to go up. And we're going to go up to this place. I'll do OK. It just changes the pitch and let's listen to it now. It records your voice and you can see the lines forming the waveform behind you. So we've just recorded this. Press stop. OK, there we go. So I've done that effect. And let's actually take that off. Let's look at another one now. You can add an echo. And you can choose how much of an echo. Let's do OK. It processes it. It records your voice and you record see the your lines forming the waves forming behind, behind you. So we've so just, just recorded this. That's pretty annoying, but you get the idea that you can change those effects. Let's look at some of these other ones. If you're on a Mac, you'll have some of these Apple ones set. And I'm going to look at the distortion one. I have all these settings. I have no idea what all these do. But let's just see what happens when I do OK. Goes through. It records your voice, and you can see the lines forming the waveform behind you. So I don't know if you can hear this. very well, but it just changed kind of the timbre of the sound. Anyway, the idea is that you have tons and tons of different options of things that you can do. You can add a fade in, um, and we've got the fade in now. It records your voice, and you can see the lines forming the waveform behind you. You can see it start off quieter, and now it's getting louder. So that's how you use Audacity. You hit record and you can do the effects. There's tons of other things you can do, but this should be enough to get you started. The last thing that's really important to know is that when you save it, it saves it as a project. And it saves it in this file format, which is fine. That's great. So I'm just going to save it on the desktop. But no other files can open this. So what you want to do is do export. At the beginning, we added that lame library, so we can do MP3 files. And I'm going to click Save. You can set any information for the metadata, and then you click OK. It has encoded it now as an MP3 file. If I go to my desktop, I can actually play it right here. Record your voice, and you can see the lines forming the waveform behind you. So we've just. And now I have an MP3 file.